The step into space has changed the way we look at the world. Ocean, Earth and space, an interactive system that we're gradually coming to see and explore as such. In the process, we shall cross fresh frontiers, enter new dimensions, and maybe even feel at home there one day. Living visions of the future, another aspect of daring to imagine. Welcome to Xanadu. My name is E.H., the electronic hostess. Now, cross the threshold of time and step into the 21st century. The humidity is 48%. The wind is shifting to the west. Electronic monster or model of an architecture of the future. Xanadu, home of the future, is what architect Roy Mason calls his computer controlled house in Florida. My vision of architecture of the future can be summed up with the word architronics. Architecture or the built environment that is integrated to the electronics and telecommunications. Here at Xanadu, we look at telecommunication with the tower for microwave communication locally and satellite communication globally. And also, the main central area electronically is controlled by the house brain. This house brain here, like the human, has a left side and a right side. The left side of the brain, like a human, deals with the functional elements of the house, the lighting, the energy security system that shuts the window and water the grass. And then there's a right side of the brain which deals with the intuitive needs of the, of the inhabitants. That's mainly what the computer center is for, with a separate terminal for each member of the family. Children won't go to school anymore in such a future. They'll work with a program that the teacher supervises from a monitor. Father will manage his business contacts from an electronic desk, and mother will do a part-time external job, working from here. No one will need to leave the house at a particular time anymore, and rush hours and traffic jams will survive only in fiction. The kitchen is consuming 4% more energy than normal. If the kitchen starts using more energy than usual, the central brain will compensate. Water tanks on the south side act as heat accumulators. The computer reacts to every change in the weather, opening windows, closing curtains, adjusting the heating. That way, the energy requirement is kept at the optimum level. But what visitors to this place find more fascinating than the electronic refinements, most of which are hidden from view, are the unusual design and no less unusual material of the house. It's made of plastic. The function of architecture is the second skin of man. Why go ahead and build out a stick and stone to hang insulation? Here at Xanadu, we inflated a balloon, we sprayed it with only insulation polyurethane foam. This insulation also is used for spraying and creating an exciting environment. For example, the central focus is the tree, which serves not only for the fireplace, but also through its branches for air conditioning. The design often seems as artificial as the building material, with the synthetic replacing the real thing, 
a videotape for a fireplace, television as a substitute for reality. Whether such a house becomes an electronic monster or a helpful servant no doubt depends on the skill of the person occupying it. At any rate, a fully automatic kitchen in which a diet computer composes menus for the robot cook is no longer a futuristic fantasy. It exists. And if a house made of sprayed-on plastic makes you shudder, you can hide your computer behind walls of solid brick. The form doesn't matter, says Mason. It's the content that counts. bedroom is plugged into the house brain, which is an extension of my brain. So while I'm sleeping here at night in this environment, the bed through its sensors is constantly aware through the monitoring system of the house brain, which is aware of the, my normal body functions, can, if there's any changes, it reacts to these changes. The environment, the light, the sound, the air conditioning, all are extended and connected to the house brain and changes to enhance the environment at night. Not only the energy system, but also the security. If an intruder approach, not only alerts me, but it alerts the local police department. Scanning security. The kitchen door is unlocked. You exceeded your caloric intake at lunch again. Complete three more laps, please. Enough is enough. You can control my calorie, but you're not going to control my activities. Because I'm going to relax for a while and enjoy myself. You think that the computer is going to control our options of tomorrow and also control my life but no it doesn't it enhances my life it gives me more freedom to make decisions you know as to what i'm going to do in the, in the world tomorrow it overcomes those mundane activity and boring activity from cooking and closing the window cables to arm to give me a choice and freedom to choose other options in an area of entertainment working out of the home and to realize that i'm not allow or have to make any choice. I can consume my own future. Straight lines in architecture are a thing of the...